Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this kite to go on my teddy bear's picnic blanket. When crocheted using 8 ply wool, which is this one here, it's 18 centimetres from here to the end of the tail, or 7 inches, and 6.5 centimetres from here to here, or 2.5 inches. When crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton, this one, the size is 12 centimetres by 4 centimetres or 4 and 3 quarter inches by 1 and a half inches. I'll be using 8 ply yarn today, which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got yellow and blue for my kite colour and I'll be using the brown for the string. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends and to stitch it together. I've got a 3mm crochet hook and scissors. Now I start on either one of the colours for the kite, so I'll start on my yellow and I work 7 chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet I put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through both the loops. And I work one single crochet into each remaining chain. I'll have six single crochet. For row 2, we start with one chain and turn our work over. We're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So one single crochet to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have four stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For 
for both five, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have four stitches. For row six, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of our first two stitches and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over our two stitches. For row 11, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into our stitch. For row 12, we turn our work and we work a slip stitch into our stitch. So we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on our hook. And then we work one chain and fasten off, leaving a longish tail. And that's the first part of the kite. Now for the second part of the kite we join our second kite colour to the last stitch on this slope side. So this stitch here We join in our yarn and we work one chain, we work one single crochet into that same stitch as our chain and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end, just that bottom part of the cast on chain, that bit there. We'll have six stitches all together. For row 2, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and work 
one single crochet into each of our five stitches. row 4 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have four stitches so one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn, work one single crochet into the first stitch and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over both our stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into our stitch. For row 12 we turn and slip stitch into our stitch and then work a chain and we fasten off leaving a longer tail. And that's the first side of our kite done. Now for the second side of the kite I'm going to start with the colour that I finished with last time. So I worked my yellow first and then my blue so this time I'm working my blue first. I start with seven chain For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have 6 stitches. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches.
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we've got four stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 4 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So we've got three stitches. For row seven we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into the first stitch and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the two stitches. So we've got two stitches there. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. For 11 we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into our stitch. For row 12 we turn our work and work a slip stitch into the stitch and work one chain and fasten off. We don't need to leave a long tail this time. And that's the first part of the second side done. For the second part of this side we join our yarn in the first stitch on this slope side. So this stitch in here and work one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one single crochet into each of the remaining five stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn 
and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 4 stitches. For row 6 we work 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into the first stitch and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 2 stitches. For row 10 we start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over both our stitches. For row 11 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into our stitch. For row 12 we turn our work and work a slip stitch into our stitch. And work 1 chain and fasten off. We don't need to leave a long tail. And that's the second part finished. Now for these bows you could make three or four. Um, I'll make three today. You could use ribbon, little ribbon bows if you prefer. Now you start with five chain You work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook 
A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet, you put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, which will be the third from the hook, and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. Then we work one slip stitch into the next stitch, and then a half double crochet into the last stitch. And then work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the last half double crochet. And fasten off leaving a long tail. I'll use that to wrap around the bow once or twice and then to stitch it onto the, the tail of the kite. So I'll work a couple more and I'll weave in the ends and firstly we'll have to stitch the kite together and then we'll crochet on a tail. Now there's my two kite pieces. I don't weave in the ends until I start stitching it together so I know which is going to be the back to weave the ends into. So firstly I place one side on top of the other side, making sure I've got the reverse colours against each other. So like that. And then I just stitch through like that, down to, to the middle and then I stitch up from the other side and these will be my wrong side. So I've got the two right sides together. So I'll stitch these together and I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll do the tail. For the tail, I join the colour I'm using for my string to one end of the kite. So I'll just join in there. And I've been working 25 chain. and fasten off. Now for this string it would depend on what it's going to be holding on and how high you want your kite to be flying. I'll probably crochet 50 chain for the string.
and I'll leave a little bit of a tail to attach it to the kite. Now I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the kite with the tail, three bows and I've got the string. So to make it up I just need to attach the bows evenly along the tail. I'll put a yellow, a blue and then a yellow. And I attach the string to the centre back, just in there. And when I stitch it onto something, I'll have to stretch it out. So I'll attach those and I'll be back to show you the finished kite. And there's the finished kite. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, my Facebook group and my Patreon account. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.